Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's quick video, I'm going to show you how to get the data from SharePoint Excel file as a database table or in another words, how you can refresh your data faster from the Excel files that you are getting from the SharePoint. So stay tuned with me for this quick video. you have to do very first you have to log in on to your SharePoint the folder where you have placed your Excel file once you are in here you have to select that Excel file click into these three dots where you will get a lot of other options and now you have to open the file in app please do not open this file in the browser click open in the app option now once your file is gonna open you have to come in the file menu and there's an info path if you are working on the latest version of microsoft office then you will get this option and there's a copy path basically you have to copy the path whether it's coming under info or if you are using some older version there also you will get that path so just copy this path and now we can come to our power bi desktop application over here we will get data and this time rather than getting the data from the SharePoint we have to get the data from the web so please do not use the SharePoint option over here just click on web option and in the URL you can simply paste this one now the main important part is over here because many of you would face certain kind of errors when you are not gonna apply the next step over here so always delete all the information that is starting from this question mark sign and now you need to click on ok button once you will click on ok button it would take some time and it can ask you about some permissions like over here that's perfectly all right just click ok and now you will see you are getting tables over here like you are getting from the database so you can select the tab you want and you can simply load your data or if you want to transform the data you can do that click load option again it's going to take a couple of seconds and that also depends on the amount of data that you have in your file and after that you will see on your right hand side in the fields pane all the data has been appearing over here mm. so this is the quickest and the simplest option that you can have to get the data from the SharePoint also if you would like to check further how you get this data you can come over here in the power query window and over here in the advanced editor tab you will see the connection is now using excel.workbook web.contents rather than it's gonna use the SharePoint connection over here now you can simply close and apply and you can just start building your report on the top of this please do let me know if you have any question or concerns or if you are facing any errors and stay tuned for more videos